Hey everyone, Chiu here. In this video, I will show you how to record a time-lapse video when you are sketching with the Concepts app on an iPad or Android tablet. And in case you don't already know, Concepts is actually my main sketching app on a tablet. The one feature that is missing with this app is there is no time-lapse recording feature. So to record your sketching process, your workflow, you have to rely on third-party screen recording apps or the screen recording app from the OS of the tablet that you are using. So to record your screen on the iPad, you can use the default screen recording feature provided by iPad OS. Just swipe down from the top right and look for this circular button, which is the screen record button. Tap on this, the timer will start and the button will turn red here and there will be a red icon here at the top right corner and this will mean that the screen is being recorded now so anything that you draw or paint will be recorded at normal speed and to stop the recording just swipe down again and tap on this and this will stop the recording and the video will be saved into the photos app now the video is recorded at normal speed so if you want to create a time-lapse video you will have to speed up the video using whatever video editing software that you are using okay so that's the screen recording part now within concepts you have to set it up as well so within concepts just go into the settings here and under workspace scroll down to find artboard instead of infinite what you want to do is to type in the resolution of your iPad. So for the iPad that you are using, you should type in the exact resolution and double tap here to have the zoom at 100% and this will fill the whole display without the frame. Next, I would also recommend you lock the zoom. Just tap on the zoom number and click here on the lock icon to lock the zoom at 100% and you may also want to lock the rotation just tap on the lock icon and make sure the rotation is zero before you lock it so now when you try to zoom or rotate it will not zoom and rotate but you can still move the canvas around now on the iPad there is actually snapping for the artboard so if you place the artboard in the middle it will snap to the middle and we will want to keep it that way now in the settings go to interaction and under touch input uh, try not to set the touch input to pen canvas so in this case i actually have the touch input set to select what this means is when i use my finger on the display I can use it as a selection tool and this will also prevent my finger from or my palm from moving the artboard if the tool wheel takes up too much space you can actually minimize it by pinching it or you can tap on one of the tools tap and hold and just drag it to the top corner bottom corner or to the side so if you drag it to the side where is it where is the toolbar okay the tool wheel will change into the toolbar and this will take up less space uh, this will not block the top corner or wherever the wheel is so now you can sketch while sketching you may want to take note of the layer sorting mode whether it's automatic or manual and if you don't know what this is i highly recommend you check out my many concepts tutorial on youtube or my skillshare courses if you do not lock the zoom and you are sketching and you zoom in to draw details and zoom out zoom in the screen recording will also capture the zoom in and out and it's not going to make the time lapse look good because there is the constant in out in out it's not going to look good at all so you really will want to lock the zoom and also try not to pan as often because well it's also going to capture the panning and it's not going to make the time lapse look good hopefully the developers of concepts will include a time lapse recording feature within the app itself 
but until that happens this is just one way you can record your drawing process or create a time-lapse for your drawing process